Hi, I'm Dave Iker and this is Pluto. Not really, but it'll do for today. Today we're going to investigate Pluto because it really hasn't gone out of anyone's mind. Is Pluto a planet? Is it a dwarf planet? Since that controversy with the IAU in 2006, everybody still wants to talk about it. That's what we'll investigate today on The Real Reality Show. The International Astronomical Union screwed up when they redefined planets and dwarf planets. It says, A, a planet must orbit the sun. Well, that's fine. It also, B, has to have sufficient gravity for its mass and to have hydrostatic equilibrium. That's okay, too. That just means that it has to be a spear, not a potato. And C, it has to have cleared out the neighborhood of its orbit. Well, some planetary astronomers even have said, well, what the heck does that really mean? Earth has several asteroids orbiting with us in our Lagrangian points. Does that mean Earth is not a planet? A house is a house wherever it is, in the city or in the country. It's a house. It doesn't matter where the location is. Shouldn't a planet be a planet wherever it is? If Earth were 40 AU out in the Kuiper Belt, it wouldn't clear its orbit out thoroughly. Does that mean it's a dwarf planet or a planet? In fact, planetary scientists consider large moons planets as well, like Ganymede and the moon. They're large enough to be spherical. Stars can orbit stars. Why can't planets orbit planets? The IAU declared Pluto a dwarf planet, not a planet. It is a dwarf planet, but it's also a planet. A planet and a dwarf planet. That's the real reality. Mmm. Salty, too.